Watu wa magazeti, watu wa television wameingi? Na tafadhali Deromonte imekuwa ya kunyanyasa wafanyikazi. Sio ati wanaleta hiyo subcontract unatoka kwa 530 wanaajiri mtu mwingine wa 450. Hiyo ni kurudisha wafanyikazi wadogo kama sisi chini. Sisi vijana tunataka kujilea. Tunataka tukue na boma mzuri. Tunataka tukue na marafiki wa bao tunaenda kwa wazazi wetu wana tunawapelekea nini? Tunawapelekea kwa kitu. Kwa hivyo tunataka tukisema ni 10% kuogezewa. Tunaogezewa 10%. Si 5%. 5% hiyo wanatuogezea serikali inaogezea msha eh, uga na 30 shillings inatusaidia na nini jameni hakuna inatusaidia na nini jameni tunataka 10% hatutaki 5% na wakikosa kufanya hivyo jameni tunawakaranga asubuhi mapema kabisa wanaohusika waangalie hayo mambo kwa makini ya kwamba outsourcing ya kampuni kupea watu ambao walinufaika miaka nenda miaka rudi ni vibaya ni afadhali kupea vijana hata kama ni kwa outsource. Kwa nini hawawezi hawawezi kwa outsource kwa hawa vijana ambao wanajilea? Wana outsource kwa wazee ambao maisha yao hata tunaona ni kama yamo kwa ukingoni. So ningeomba sana hata kama ni kwa outsource waangalie vijana. Na outsource tunaikataa kwa sababu mwenye anapewa ile outsource analipa watu baada ya miezi mbili. Ambao hii miezi mbili ni ya kwamba kampuni ilishamlipa kwa ule mwezi mmoja so hatujui kama wanatishirikiana na kampuni kunyanyasa wa Kenya wenzetu so tunaikataa kwa sababu kampuni na outsourcing management wanakuwa wanashikania kunyanyasa wa Kenya niliingia Delmonte 2017 kwa sema ukweli tumefinyiliwa ile ya kutosha tunafanya miezi tatu unasimamishwa ukikuja tena hakuna kazi kwa hivyo afadhali serikali ingilie tupate haki yetu hata watu wadogo wapate nafasi ya kufanya kazi utumi iko juu tuone kama serikali itaingilia hii kitu irekebishwe hiyo ndiyo maombi yangu na mshahara iongezwe sida yetu ambayo tuko nayo kwa Delmonte ni mambo maine Delmonte tulisainiana nayo CBA ambayo is existing na tumesign close ya provident fund wamekataa ku implement Another second thing kuna shida ya subcontracting tunafanya mambo ya outsourcing na wanaleta watu wa nje na wafanyakazi wanapoteza kasi there's no job security especially on seed carry out 
on these other jobs like tractors, like mambo ya graders. Number three, kuna contractors wambawa wamefanya kazi hapa for a long time, over 20 years. Awajawai kuwa converted to seasonal so that they can may benefit that they have served this company. They have been productive. Tungeomba weze kuwa converted, weze kuwa Del Monte wa, weze ku practice fair uh, labor practice. Ya muisho, ni mambo ya increment ya upande wa minini, upande wa contractors. Wanaongezi wa pesa kidogo sana. If we compare ka Del Monte na the other company like Kakuzi, unakuza Kakuzi contractor is working on six, 625, but when you come to Del Monte it's around 530. So we feel Del Monte is an international company, multi, ambayo inafaa kuamba inaweza kulipa wafanyakazi vizuri na inaweza ku practice fair labor practice. Mugomo tulianza jana, sababu tulita buwana governor, na tulita even our HR, ambao is the part of our problem. Tukimuita hapa, kitamba tatue sida as a HR, is threatening the soap steward, na na threatening wafanyakazi kwamba atawavuta, na ataendelea kuleta watu kutoka inje. Kwa hivyo tuko hapa, kuenda kusuluisha matatizo ambayo iko hapa. Ni miaka mingi sana tangu tulipo kuwa na usiano na Del Monde. Baka, baka karibu miyasi sita iliopita tujawa ikuwa na strike. Sijui hui mwenye amekuja tena anandisha strike ya kuwa usosu wafanyikazi kwa nini. Na kwa hivyo tunataka vile mumetoa resolution yenu. Ya kuamba kabla mujerudi kazi, mutu watakuwa metoka ameenda nyumbani. Yeah. Kwa hivyo tunataka, tunapoenda pale, tumalise mambo haya. Mambo ya outsourcing, mambo ya subcontracting, mambo ya contractors, mambo ya casual, Mambo ya sisono, mambo ya profit and fun. Na mambo ya shop steward kurudi kazi. Kurudi kazi. Notice ni kwamba, kama management wata fail siku ya leo kukubaliana na haya. Yes. Sisi bado tutalada hapa thika, baka siku ile strike itaisha. Yeah. Sisi, sisi tutakamba hapa, baka strike ikuishe. Baka tuagikishe, tukirudi na kuru, iwe strike imemalizika na tumeandika uh, barua ya kusema wafajikasu warudi kasi. Yeah. Yeah. Na kama wanajaribu kucheza, tutaandika kule ngambo mahali biashara inaenda. Yeah. Yeah. Hili wanyanganywe biashara ya kufanya biashara kenya hii. Yeah. Namba ya mwisho, shamba hili kuwa inaenda na kaut government of Murang. Yeah. Wana Francis Atwal hindi aliongea na president wa nchi hii. Yeah. Aka kohoa kama mwanaume. Yeah. Wakakunje mukia. Yeah. Nao wameshiba wamegeuka sisi. Yundu. Kwa hivyo tumetutakikisha ya kwamba right ya ufanya kazi. Especially yale ambao tumetacha kama provident fund. Hii deputy atasungumzia mamba ya casualization. Mamba ya contracting, outsourcing and all sorts of things. These people are exploiting Kenyans. And I want to appeal to the president of this country. Honorable Uru Mwigai Kinyati. Yeah. And the Minister of Labor, yeah. they should not be sleeping. Yes. Why do the workers are suffering? Yeah. 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 Yeah.